different types of prepositions. So let us continue with that because prepositions is a very important part of speech and sometimes it can be a little bit tricky and confusing. So it's very important that you know how and where to use the correct prepositions. Okay, so just give me a couple of more minutes before I start with today's session. We've got a lot of people joining in. I hope you all, and sorry, not hope, I pray that you all stay safe and do stay healthy. Okay, so this is Amrita from Hello English connecting today's webinar. Now, just a small piece of information. If you would like to upgrade yourself to a pro member, please do not forget to use my code that is Amrita10, A-M-R-I-T-A, -A, Amrita10. And you can avail a 10% discount on your pro membership. Okay, we have Sanjay joining in today. Good afternoon, Sanjay. Good afternoon, Sriyash. I welcome you all to today's session. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Sriyash. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. And you? I'm also good. Did you have a good weekend? No, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much for joining in today's webinar. So just a minute before I start with today's session, we have Meena joining us. Good afternoon, Meena. Yes. Welcome to today's session. And... Okay. Just give me a little bit of 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 a Okay, so let's start today's session. I welcome all of you to today's webinar. This is Amrita conducting today's session. And today I'll be discussing about preposition. So I was discussing about preposition. Good afternoon, Javanashi. Hope you're doing good. Glad to have you back in today's webinar. So let's start today's session. I was talking about prepositions in my last class. And we look at some of the basic rules which we follow. So let's do a small recap. So anybody, can anybody give me the definition of preposition? Anybody? No? Well, preposition, it is used to express the relationship between the elements of a sentence or the clause, okay? So it is generally placed before a noun or a pronoun, okay, to show what the relation is with the person or the thing denoted by what it stands. So prepositions are generally used to denote the relationships, okay, to express the relationships between the elements of a sentence or a clause. So this is the basic definition of a preposition. And then we discuss about certain prepositions which we have to take care. For example, Sorry. Okay. So, for example, we had um, discussed about preposition of time, that is at. So, at is used at a designated or specific time. For example, the train is arriving at 12.15. So, if I'm using for a specific time, then I'll be using the preposition at, okay? On. We use on for designated days and dates as well okay so like for example my brother is coming on monday okay or we have a party on 4th of july so all is used for designated days and dates both okay in is used for non-specific times in is used for non-specific times for example during a day month or season or year for example she likes to jog in the morning Okay, or uh, for example, she started the job in 1971. She's going to quit the job in August. So, in is used for non specific times during a day, month, season, or year. So, these are some of the common things or rules which you should remember. 
Now, if I'm using at as a preposition of place, then at is used for specific address. If I'm using a number, for example, she lives at 55 um, Green Street. So I'm using a specific number, hence I'll be using at, okay? On is used uh, for designated names in street. For example, my house is on Birds Road. My house is on Birds Road. In is used in the name of town, countries, or states. For example, she lives in Dubai. So in is used if you are using a state. So these are some of the things which you should remember as far as prepositions are concerned. Okay, so let's start. Let's see. Let's move to my first question. I would encourage all of you to participate and key in your answers because we've already discussed about prepositions. So you all should have a fair idea as to what prepositions are all about. Okay, we have Mehak joining in. Welcome, Mehak. Welcome to today's session. Okay, let's start. The first question on your screen. I care dash making a difference in this world. I care dash making a difference in this world. And the options on your screen are in, with, to, about. So I care dash making a dis uh, sorry, difference in this world. And the options on your screen are in, with, to, and about. Okay, let's see who can give me the right answer. Yes, Namina, you got it right. Vishali, some... Yes, Rayash. I care about making a difference in this world. I care about making a difference in this Yes, that's the right answer. But tell me, Shreyash, why did you put in the wrong answer? What did you type in? Ma'am, I thought that was the right answer. You thought that was the right answer? You answered the right answer, but what did you write on the screen? What did you write about it? What did you write about it? I care with... No, with... इसमें नहीं होगा विद का मतलब साथ करेक्ट सो so, मैं साथ ये गलत होगा टू भी नहीं होगा टू का मतलब को वो भी नहीं होगा इन मतलब अंदर में सो इन भी नहीं होगा रूल्ड आउट अबाउट मीन्स बारे में सो आई केयर अबाउट मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस इन दिस वर्ल्ड दैट इज द राइट ऑप्शन ओके थैंक यू सो मच रेयास Let's see. Okay, we have Suresh joining in. Welcome, Suresh. Welcome to today's session. I'm seeing you after a long time. Glad to have you back. Okay, let's move to my next question. Sometimes I think dash doing things and then just as quickly forget them. Sometimes I think dash doing things and then just as quickly forget them. Okay. And uh, Jabalashi fourth is not uh, visible, then I believe you need to refresh. And still, if you are not able to visit or view the fourth option, then log out and log in again. Because um, there are four options on the screen, so I believe should be some connectivity issues. Okay, so the next question for you all. Sometimes I think dash doing things and then just as quickly forget them. And the options on your screen are for or with two. Okay, let's see who can give me the right answer for this one. Okay, Suresh, can I have the answer from you? Off. Yes. So sometimes I think of doing things and then uh just as quickly forget them so off means karne ko so main kabhi uh, ye kaam karne ko sochta hu magar bhul jata hu so karne ko is off so sometimes i think of doing things and then just as quickly forget them with is saath mein to is ko that is wrong and for is again ke liye so that is also wrong so off is the correct option. That is the second one is the right one. So 
let's see. Yes, we have Shreyash, Navina, Nikhil, all giving me the right answer. Please keep up the good job. Others, I would encourage you all to participate and key in your answers. So today we are talking about prepositions. I've already discussed about prepositions and how they are used. So you have to keep certain things in mind and take care when you are using prepositions. Okay, let's move to my next question. I have been guilty, dash, leaving a mess for my mother to clean up. And the options on your screen are in of wit. So I have been guilty, dash, leaving a mess for my mother to clean up. Okay, Mina, can I have the answer from you? Mina, are you able to hear me? Okay. Uh, can I have the answer from you, Shreya, uh, Sanjay? Second one, ma'am. Off. Off. Yes. Thank you so much. So I have been guilty of leaving a mess for my mother to clean off. Okay. We have Bhargavi joining in. Welcome, Bhargavi. With is uh, just a second. Okay, with is sathmik, so that is ruled off. In is under, so that is also ruled off in this particular case. So I have been guilty of leaving a mess for my mother to clean up. That is the correct option for this one. Okay, let's move to my next question. And here it is on your screen. Okay. I am not dash cooking for myself and cleaning up. Shruti, you are new. Welcome to today's webinar. This is Amrita from Hello English and we are talking about prepositions. So prepositions is again a very important part of speech. They are used to denote relationships in a sentence. They are generally placed before a noun or pronoun generally not necessarily in cases where you are using interrogative pronouns like, like whom uh, then prepositions are always used at the last so you have to remember that so in case you are using uh, interrogative pronouns then you will be using uh, prepositions at the last or if you are using relative pronouns like that whom then also prepositions are used uh, at the last of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. So these are certain things which you will have to remember. Now, as I was telling you, at, if you are using at as a preposition time of time, then it is used for specific time. For example, the train is arriving at 12.50. So since I'm using specific time, I'll be using at. If you are using at as a preposition of place, then if you are using specific numbers, then at is used. For example, she lives at 29 Baker Street. So I'm using a specific number. In that case also, at is used. So these are some of the common rules which you need to follow. Okay, for this particular question on your screen, I'm not used dash cooking for myself and cleaning up. Okay, let's see who can give me the right answer. We have Sreyash giving me the right answer in the least possible time. Okay, Bhargavi, can I have the answer from you? I am not used to cooking for myself and cleaning up. Correct. So I'm not used to cooking uh, for myself and cleaning up. Okay, there's somebody who has logged in with a number 977984. Can I have your name, please? Yes, ma'am. My name is Meena. Meena. Okay. 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 Meena. I got it. I get confused sometimes <laughs> because uh, okay. you are logged in with a specific number. Okay. Now I'll remember Meena. Okay. So I'm not used to cooking for myself and cleaning up. Again, the same logic applies is for is Kelly with is me. Okay. We have Neelam joining in. Welcome Neelam. And we have off that is Kanekele. So that is also ruled out. So with you, Whenever I'm using the word used, generally with used, the preposition to goes. I'm used to having dinner at night or I'm used to, um, you know, I'm used to running 
in the morning. So with used, generally we use the preposition to. So I'm not used to cooking for myself and cleaning up. That is the right option. Okay, let's move to my next question. I am looking forward dash having a place of my own. So I'm looking forward dash having a place of my own. And the options on your screen are as to in with. So I'm looking forward dash. So like used, I'm giving a small hint here. So generally with used, I use a preposition too. Similarly with forward also, I use a specific preposition. Okay, let's see who is giving me the right answer for this one. Yes, they have Shreya, Sudash, Nina, all have given me the right answer. Bhargavi, you got it wrong this time. Tell me Bhargavi, what should be the answer for this one? Two, ma'am. Yes, two, but what did you type in? You typed in the wrong answer. What did you put? Okay. Am I audible to you, Bhargavi? Yes, ma'am. Audible, ma'am. Okay. So which answer did you type in? In, ma'am. In? No. In means under. Kisi cheez ke under. And in is generally used. Or if you are using in, in, you know, um, as a preposition of place, then in is used. For example, I live in Dubai. So, or I live in Australia, this kind of a thing. So under these circumstances, in is used. In this particular question, with forward also, generally the preposition to is used. I'm looking forward to meet you. I'm looking forward to the meeting ahead. I'm looking forward to the dinner. So with forward also, generally you use the preposition to as used to, with used, I used to. With forward also, the generally the preposition of to is used. Okay, let's move to my next question. I am tired, dash, hearing friends say that they can't wait or cannot wait to leave home. So I am tired, dash, hearing friends say that they can't or cannot wait to leave home. And the options on your screen are from, about, by, and of. Okay, let's see who can give me the right answer for this one. Okay, Suresh, can I have the answer from you? Suresh, are you yes, ready? Okay, let's yes, have the answer from you. Fourth one, up. Yes, I am tired of hearing friends say that they cannot wait to leave me. So. From means say, about is, uh, when I talk about something, that is bari me in Hindi. And again, by is dwara. Kisi ke dwara ye kaam kiya ja hai. Then I'll be using the preposition by. So in this case, I am tired of hearing friends say that they cannot or can't wait to leave home. So I'm tired of hearing, I'm tired of speaking, I'm tired of listening. So we use tired of generally. Okay. Let's move to my next question. Here's the next question for you all. I wouldn't or I would not object dash helping my sister with her loan when I get a job. Okay. And the options on your screen are two, four, or from. So these are the four options. Participants, please. Key in your answer. So for all those people who have joined in late, I'm talking about prepositions today. Prepositions, they use to denote or express the relationship in a sentence. They are used generally before a noun or a pronoun, generally, but not mandatorily. In case you are using uh, the relative pronouns like that, whom, then generally uh, prepositions are used at the end of the sentence. Or if you are using um, what do you call that? Interrogative pronouns like who, what, which. So like what is, um, for example, let me give you an uh, example. What is the thing you asked for? So here for is used at the end of the sentence. So in case you are using interrogative pronouns like who, what, which, then pronouns are used at the last of the sentence. So 
these are small tricks which you should remember when you are using pronouns. Okay, so I wouldn't object helping my sister with her loan when I get a job. This is the current question. Okay, Sanjay, can I have the answer from you? First one, ma'am. First so, one. I would, I would not, not object to helping my sister with her loan when I get a job. Correct. So here the first option is the right one. I would not object to helping my sister with her loan when I get a job. This is the correct option. Okay. Nice. So others, please participate in your answers. Today I'm seeing a lot of new names punching in the right answers. So I'm quite glad about it. But I would definitely want my old team also to participate and key in your answers. So we have Suresh, Rajkumari, Vijaya, Usha, all giving you the right answer. Please keep up the good work. Okay, Meena, you got it wrong this time. Simple one. I didn't object to. So here the correct preposition will be to. Okay, let's see. Let's move to my next question. Perhaps one day. I will be responsible dash taking care of my parents. Okay, so in the options on your screen are of about four to two. So perhaps one day I will be responsible dash taking care of my parents and the options are of about four to two. So four is ke liye, about is bare mein, as I told you. Of is generally used as ka in Hindi as ka. And for is used, you know, sometimes ke liye. So I'll be responsible dash taking care of my parents. Let's see. We have Ratan Singh joining us. Good afternoon, Ratan. Welcome to today's session. Ratan is a pro member. Yes. Tell me, Shreyash, what is the right answer? Third one. Yes. Give me the complete sentence. Prepares, prepares on uh, one day I will be responsible for taking care of my parents. Perhaps means kabhi. Perhaps means maybe. Perhaps another word for perhaps maybe maybe. So maybe one day or perhaps I will be responsible for taking care of my parents. Yes, thank you so much, Reyash. You gave me the right answer. Please keep up the good job. Okay, let's move to my next question. My father warned me, dash, thinking negative thoughts. Think positive. Okay, a very important thing. So please don't have negative thoughts. Always think positively. Okay, so my father warned, dash, Thinking negative thoughts, think positive. This is an easy one. People, please participate. Key in your answers. For, of, with, about. So for means ke liye. Yes. Who is this? Let me check. Okay. Who? There's somebody by the name Mukesh. Mukesh, can I have the answer from you? <coughs> Mukesh, are you able to hear me? Mm, no. Okay, let's see. Bhargavi, can I have the answer from you? My father warned me about thinking negative thoughts. Think positive. Yes, yes. about means bare mein, correct? So, I have given you that in bare mein, negative thoughts, ke bare mein sochna nahi chahiye. bare mein means about. So with is sat, that is ruled out. For is ke liye, that is also ruled off. Off is karne ki, that is also ruled off. Here, bare me means about. So the correct preposition is about. My father warned me about thinking negative thoughts. Think positive. Yes. Thank you so much, Bhargavi. That is the correct one. Thank okay. You. So let's see. Mm, we have... Zishan joining us. Yes, good afternoon, Zishan. Hope you're doing good. Welcome to today's good webinar. Afternoon, yeah. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you, Zishan? Good? Yeah, good. Yes. How are you? I'm good. 
So today I'm talking about prepositions. Tell me, tell me the definition of prepositions, Ishan. What is a preposition? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I cannot. Okay, anyone, anyone? Can anyone tell me the definition of preposition? It is one of the most important part of speech, correct? So, and it is very vast. Sometimes it is confusing. Sometimes it gets tricky also. So there are certain basic rules which I've tried to explain. So if I ask you the preposition, any takers, any volunteers? Yes, ma'am. Noun or pronoun, conjunction, adjective, adverb, usually first topic. Yes, so these are all part parts of speech. speech. We have got eight part of speech, like noun, pronoun, yes. word, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and interjections. So preposition is what I had covered on my Saturday webinar also. So I'm continuing with prepositions. It is placed generally, a preposition is generally placed before a noun or pronoun, and it shows the relationship between them, correct? So it is generally placed before a noun or a pronoun, but in certain cases, it is also placed at the end of the sentence where you are using interrogative pronouns or relative pronouns like whom, which, what. Under these circumstances, it is used at the end of the sentences also. Okay. So my father warned me about thinking negative thoughts. Okay. Well done. Let's move to my next question. What is the point? Dash working if one is not well prepared for a job. So what is the point? Dash working if one is not well prepared for a job. And the options on your screen are at of about two. At of about two. Let's see. Noble, I take care of myself. I take care for my parents. I take care of my parents. Not for. I take care of myself as well as my parents. So I take care of my parents. Generally, we use of in these cases. Okay. Shreya, option four is not available. Then you need to log out and log in again. So generally, what happens is if you have a connectivity issues, sometimes you're not able to see the fourth option. So my suggestion is log out and log in once more. Okay. Let's see who can give me the right answer for this one. Second one. Yes. Uh, who, who was this? I sorry, I missed out. Suresh, right? No. Zishan. Zishan, yes. Second option, correct. So what is the point of working if one is not well prepared to do a job? So that is the correct one. So about to act, these three options are ruled out. About is bare me. So that is anyways ruled out. Two is... What is the point to working? That is grammatically not right. So two is not the correct option. Two means generally per, so in Hindi. So that is also ruled out. And at, of course, is, sorry, at is generally per. So that is ruled out. Two is generally not used in this sense. Two is generally po ya ka. So that is also ruled out. So what is the point of, of working if one is not well prepared for the job? So the second option is the right one. Okay. Neelam, you are also not able to see the fourth slide or fourth option, which one? So a lot of you have got a problem today seeing the fourth option. The only thing I can suggest is please log out and log in again. There has to be some connectivity issues. That is why you are not able to see the fourth option. Happens sometimes. I need to check with my tech team if this is a recurring problem that is. Okay, let's move to my next question. I apologize, dash, my parents for continuing to be a burden. So I apologized, dash, my parents for continuing to be a burden. And Sanjay, your also fourth option is not visible. Okay, let's see. Then I need to put a word to my tech team. You, majority of you are facing this problem. Okay, let me just put a word to my tech team. Fourth option. It's not available, but I don't know how soon it can be rectified. So for today, I 
As of now, if you are not able to see the fourth option, then I request you all to log out and log in once more. Which describes all parts of speech is called prepositions. Well, no, preposition is one of the most important part of speech. It is generally used to depict a relationship. So we have like prepositions of place, prepositions of time. For example, preposition of time, as I said, at. So at is used if you are using a specific time. The train is arriving at 12.15. Similarly, at can also be used as a preposition of place. Okay. So if you are using a specific number. So I, she lives at um, 16 Downing Street. So if you are using a specific number, then you are using at. So we have prepositions of time, we have prepositions of place. So all these are types of preposition. It is basically used to denote the relationship or express the relationship in a sentence. It is generally placed before the noun or the pronoun. So it is one of the most or major uh, are one of the most important parts of speech. That is what I can say. Okay. So let's move to my next question. I feel guilty dash spending so much money on shopping. I feel guilty dash spending so much money on shopping and the options on your screen are about, from, of, with. About, from, of, with. Okay. Please participate and key in your answers. Let's see who can give you the right answer for this one. Okay, Shreyash, can you give me the right answer? I feel guilty about spending about. money on shopping. Yes, thank you so much, Shreyash. So I feel guilty about spending so much money on shopping. That is the right answer for this one. Let's see who has given me the right answer. We have Suresh, Sudas, Zishan, Shubham, all giving me the right answer for this one. Okay, so I have to spend so much money on shopping because I feel guilty. Just a second. So I feel guilty about spending so much money on shopping. That is the right option. Okay, others, please keep on trying. Please key in your answers. Okay, let's move to my next question. Uh, invisible or fourth option is a daily issue for true learners. Noble, I will definitely take it up. Um, but okay, so all those who are not true, you are able to see it. Okay, I got the issue. So let's see. I'll just take it up with my tech team and see what can be worked out. Okay, but as of now, the only option which I can give you at this moment is please log out and log in once more. Okay, I am interested dash studying management techniques. I am interested dash studying management techniques and the options on the screen are off in for two, off in for two. Okay. Please participate. Key in your answers. Let's see. Okay. Sanjay, can I have the answer from you? I am interested in studying management techniques. Second one. Man. Second one. Perfect. So I I am interested in studying management techniques. For is ruled out here. Okay, so for is KLA, so that is ruled out. Off is also ruled out. Off is generally used in Karneko, so that is also ruled out. And what are the two? Two is generally Ko, so that is also ruled out in this particular, uh, you know, in this particular question. So I am interested in studying management techniques. That is the correct option for this one. Okay. Let's move to my next question. I am excited dash taking classes at my local university. I am excited dash taking class at my local university. Okay. Let's see. The options on your screen are off over to in. Please key in your answers, people. We have Swayash, Ifat, all giving me the right answers. Jabanushi, you got it wrong. But yes, we have Ravi joining in. Welcome, Ravi. Welcome to today's session. We have 
Juru Panavi. Did I get it right? I hope I got the name right. Juru Pavani. Uh, joining in. Welcome to today's session. I welcome you all to today's session. So today I'm talking about prepositions and I have discussed, I'll repeat once more, they are used to express the relationship in a sentence. They're generally placed before a noun or a pronoun. So we've got different prepositions like at, in, below, under, above. These are some of the common prepositions of, of, both are prepositions. So these are some of the common uh, prepositions which we used. Okay, let's see who can give me the right answer for this one. Okay, um, Juru Pavani, can I have the answer from you? Juru Pavani, are you able to hear me? Oh yes. I am existed to taking classes at my local university. Are you talking about third option? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm afraid that's wrong. I'm excited to taking class at my local university is the wrong option. What should be the right answer? Can you try once more? Maybe overtaking. No. Over means upar. The plane is flying over the trees. So over means kisi cheez ke upar. So excited upar doesn't fit here. Ma'am, she doesn't. So the fourth option, I think. Oh, you are not able to see the fourth option? How many options can you see? Three. Okay, so that is the issue. None of you can see the fourth option, is it? Ma'am, I can see, ma'am, fourth option. You can this see. Meena. Meena, you can see the fourth option. Yes, okay. ma'am. What about others? Can you see yes, the fourth ma option? I can see all no, ma'am, I didn't see. Zishan cannot see. Suresh, how about you? Yes, ma'am, I see. Suresh also can see. Zishan cannot see. Sanjay, how about you? Still, um, fourth option I, see. I can see. Okay, so I think it's a individual problem. Some of you can see, some of you cannot see. Any which ways, I will still uh, inform my tech team so that they can resolve it at the earliest. Okay, so in this particular case, I am excited in taking classes at my local university. Over is openness, so that it cannot be the right option, neither can off and to be. So the fourth option is the right one. I'm excited in taking classes at my local university. Okay, let's move to my next question. I believe dash beginning at the bottom and working your way to the top. Okay, and the options on your screen are in or for two. So this is an easy one. People, please participate in your answers. I believe beginning at the bottom and working your way to the top. Okay, we have Sanjay, Shreya, Sudash, Ifa, Javanashi, Rani, all giving me the right answer. Let's see, we have Ravi joining in. Ravi is a pro member. Welcome, Ravi. Good afternoon and welcome to today's session. Okay. Let's see, you can give me the right answer. Okay, Nina, can I have the answer from you? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. The answer is in, I believe, in beginning at the bottom and working your way to the top. Yes. So I believe in beginning at the bottom. So here two, two prepositions are used actually. So I believe in beginning at the bottom and working your way to the top. Okay. So that is the correct option. For scale A, that is ruled out. Off is generally karneko, so that is also ruled out. And two, two is generally used either to depict when we are saying ko or ka. So that option is also ruled out. So I believed in beginning at the bottom and working your way to the top. That is the correct answer. Okay. So somebody is saying pro learners need to upgrade the Hello app. Maybe. If you have an update, please go ahead and update your app. Maybe it can be the reason that you are not sometimes able to view. So 
no harm trying. If you have an update, please go ahead and update the app. Okay, good suggestion, Noble. Let's see if it works out. Okay, let's see. Let's move to my next question. It is important not to worry. Dash being successful right from the start, it takes time. Okay, so here's the question for you all. It's important not to worry. Dash being successful right from the start, it takes time. And the options on the screen are off with about two. Off with about two. Okay, let's see. Okay, Zishan, can I have the answer from you? Yeah, it's important not to worry about being successful right from the start. It takes time. Yes. Takes yes, thank you so much. So the third option is the right one. So Shuruwat se safal hone ke baare mein chinta karna mahatwapun nahi hai. Isme samay lag sakta hai. That means about this ke baare mein. So about is generally used when in Hindi, it is generally depicts if you are talking about something, ke baare mein something. So it is important not to worry about something being successful. So that is the correct option for this one. Okay. Sreyash, you are not able to see the fourth option. Okay, um, I'm quite helpless right now, but I will definitely put it across to the text team as I told you all earlier. So immediate solution I can give is log out and log in, or you need as suggested by Noble, maybe you need to update your app, maybe it can work out. So let's see, but I will definitely put across the problem. Okay, let's move to my next question. I will take my driving exam dash a week. I will take my driving exam dash a week. Okay, and the options on the screen are on, with, from, and in. These are the four options on your screen. I would request all the participants to please key in your answers. Please participate, key in your answers. This is an easy one. I will take my driving exam dash a week on with from in. Let's see, yes, we have Sanjay giving me the right answer in the least possible time followed by Zishan, Ipat. Okay, Sayash, you got it wrong. Jurupa. You also got it wrong. Devanishi also got it wrong. But yes, please keep on trying. And let's see if you can give me the right answer for this. Okay, Zishan, can I have the answer from you? Yeah, I will take my driving exam in a week. Yes, I will take my driving exam in a week. So with this SAT that is ruled out from a say. That is also ruled out. So in is the correct one. So I will take my driving exam in a week. May is hafte me apni pariksha or driving pariksha lena chahata hu or something like that. So I will take my driving exams in a week. That is the correct option. So for all those people who have joined in late, let me do a quick recap about what prepositions are all about. So preposition is a word that is placed before a noun or a pronoun to show the relationship between a sentence and the clause. It is generally used before a noun or a pronoun, but it is not always used. So exceptions are if you are using a relative pronoun, for example, that or who, then preposition is placed at the end of the sentence. Or if you're using an interrogative pronoun, for example, which, who, what, interrogative pronouns means to ask questions. So what is that you are asking for? Or which is the item you are asking for? So for is always used at the end. So for is the prepositions used. So in these kind of sentences where you're using relative pronouns or uh, interrogative pronouns, uh, prepositions are used 
at the last of or at the end of the sentence otherwise it is generally used before a noun or a pronoun now let me quickly do a recap we have got different types of pronoun for example prepos sorry we have got different types of prepositions for example prepositions of time like at so at is used to designate a specific time for example the train is arriving at 12:15 on that is used to designate days and time my brother is coming on thursday or we have a party on 4th of july so on is used on designated days and days okay in if i am using in as a preposition of time then it is used for non specific times correct like um, if you want to denote during a day month season or year for example she likes to jog in the morning okay she is going to quit the job in august so specific time of the day that is in or sorry non specific time of the day that is in so i'm saying morning it can be any time so it is non specific so she likes to jog in the morning she is going to quit the job in august or she joined the job in 1971 so here is where if i'm using in as a preposition of time this is how in is used now if i'm talking about prepositions of place so let's take a look at how you use prepositions of place at at is used for a specific number in the address for example she stays at uh, or she lives at 55 downing street so specific number i'll be using the preposition at in this case on is used you know um, if you are specifying name of streets okay her house is on uh, canning street so here i'm using preposition of place as on so she lives on uh, xyz street or she lives on downing street so if you are using specific number like 1 2 3 4 then at but if you are not using any number just the name of the street then you will be using non so these are some of the things some of the simple rules which you should remember when you are using prepositions in in when i am using as a preposition of place then it is used for specific town or countries for example she lives in india or she lives in dubai she lives in sikandarabad so if i am using in as a preposition of time uh, sorry preposition of place this is how it has to be used okay for is used for you know a uh, period of or measure of time so for example he held his breath for 7 minutes so here i am using for for 7 minutes specific time since is used for specific date and time for example she walked here since 1970 so these are some of the tricks which you should remember now there is another very confusing uh preposition that is of or and of can anybody tell me the difference between of and of that is o double f and o f anybody of and of double of is switch on switch off correct and o f of of means uh... i could couldn't explain that okay as you got it right so off is generally used as the opposite of on please switch off the light or she fell off the chair that is o double f off so it is generally used in this way whereas off is usually used to denote possession for example um how do you say possession means an uncle of mr jones so uncle of mr jones so here i'm using to show possession or you want to show something um, what is made of this is the glass is made of ice so something which is made of or something which is made of in that way also you can use of or uh, something which is inside a cup of coffee so coffee is inside the cup so something which is inside so a cup of coffee so this is the basic difference between of and off so i hope i am able to give you certain some more simple rules as to when and how you can use prepositions okay let's move to 
the most interesting point that is the ledger board. Okay, let's see who has won today's session. Yes, we have Naveena with 90 points, Dash with 88 points, Shreyansh with 51, Meena with 39,